What's up, with it? What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know it's an off day, now we on road, keep us Yeah, this is good right here. Appreciate you. I just gotta pop, pop it open. So here we are, y'all. Vader's carbon trunk just touched down, man. There's one small blemish inside the weave right there. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. So I went ahead and took delivery of it. Super stoked. Finally got this joint. Y'all leave a big thumbs up right now on this video and drop a comment in the comment section down below because I got more carbon fiber coming. Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another fucking banger for y'all, bruh. I can't lie. You guys see the title. You see the thumbnail. The carbon fiber that I decided to go with has finally arrived, you dig? I'm looking at it right now. I already unboxed it. I had to unbox it with the dude in his presence because if there was any blemishes or damage to the piece of carbon he was gonna have to take it back i wasn't allowed to take delivery of it um as my boy matt told me because and anderson composites be on they be on they be on a different type of time and when it comes to returns and stuff like that so with that being said man no further ado i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and show y'all yes sir man so as y'all can see your boy went with the carbon fiber trunk with the integrated duck lid man oh my goodness this joint looks so good so right now we got vader right here as y'all can see already and i've kind of already started taking the car apart you want to get all of these pins out you want to unscrew the tabs that go in here then you want to pop this off as well all right y'all so got all that taken off as you guys can see we got the extension here from the sequenced third brake light if you guys weren't involved for that video, man, make sure I go tap in. We're actually gonna be transferring this over to the trunk as well. And we're gonna be transferring the latch as well. So with that being said, these are Torx bit screws. I'm gonna go ahead and take these two bolts off. This should drop down. We actually need to remove this entire mechanism and transfer it over to the carbon fiber trunk over there. Oh my God, look at that thing, man. But yeah, we gotta transfer all of this stuff over there, including the hardware and the struts. And then after that, we should be good to go to install it back on the car and see what it looks like in the final form. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So I just want to update you guys. I feel like that's the best thing to do as I, you know, kind of tackle this. You're going to need a T27 for the two screws that hold in your actual trunk latch. Then after you get those two screws out, these clips right here, they slide, as you can see, they slide in and then to the left. So, I mean, to the right. So you're gonna go to the left and then downward and this will drop. And then just be careful of taking out all of these little pins. You don't wanna break any of this as you are going to be reusing them. Also, the same thing goes for the emergency latch. It literally has a pin on this side. If you just push this pin in, it'll pop it out of place. Now that we have it kind of dismembered, 
what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is remove my third brake light and get to working on uninstalling these latches and undoing these bolts. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, got the trunk off, literally these little latches, all you gotta do is get a flathead, pry on there a little on this clip it'll pull back and then you pull this the strut itself back and it'll pop out of place same thing on this side then you got two 10 millimeter bolts and everything comes out make sure you pull your third brake light out sorry you guys i had to switch over from the iphone to the vlogging cam the iphone got full but as you guys can see it's complete the trunk is completely removed now all you have is four 10 millimeter bolts and then you got to grab the flathead a flathead screwdriver kind of get it in between this retaining pin and pull outwards and then it will dismount from the trunk and then just be careful when disconnecting your third brake light because this harness is going to be plugged in so be careful make sure you remove this harness first and then you can pull the third brake light out now we're about to go ahead and bring the carbon trunk over here transfer all the pieces and whatnot the latch everything and then i'll show you guys the finished product all right you guys so as y'all can see got the carbon fiber trunk installed man this trunk took so much more work to install than i thought it was going to bro i really thought this was just about to be pull it out the box put it on install we smooth hell no nah. as you guys can see i got the dremel over there i got some plastic interior pieces on the floor we got the big suitcase over there but we finally got it installed man oh my god i'm really thinking about leaving the tri bar end on the quarter panel just solely so that i can keep the one le aspect alive of this car but bro vader looks so good with this fucking trunk man Sheesh. i'm gonna go ahead and bring it out it's a little overcast right now the sun is pretty much gone down but i'm gonna pull it out so you guys can see it in like some form of lighting and man i'm super stoked i'm gonna talk to you guys about the install afterwards bro because it was a pain All right, you guys, so as you guys can tell, we are back at the JIHQ. I got Vader right here, man. I just wanna to talk to you guys about this install because there are some things that y'all need to know about this install before going into it. Um, if you guys haven't bought big pieces of carbon fiber before, just expect to have to do some sort of modification to said part and when i say some sort of modification i don't mean minor all right you guys so basically when i was installing this trunk i ran into a couple issues okay so issue number one the main issue that i had with this trunk and I almost sent it back is the fact that when you get it none of the holes for the actual latch are actually going to line up there's two Torx bits they're T27s okay literally on my trunk for example one of the holes is up here and the other one is down here it's going to happen it's a common thing with these trunks what you're gonna have to do is you're legit gonna have to finesse. Secondly, for this little mesh piece that sits on the inside of the trunk, there are no holes drilled out for all of your little pushing tabs so that you can secure this piece onto the trunk itself. So you're gonna have to drill those holes out. Thirdly, <laughs> the little bump stops that go right here, they do not fit. So that being said as y'all can see i'm not running them um fourth fourthly the third brake light the cutout for well the opening for the third brake light is actually made to be very very snug so what do i mean by that they put such a small cutout for this third brake light 
that you literally have to go in with a Dremel or some kind of a fowler or maybe even sanding paper. And you're literally going to have to sand out or widen this gap so that you can actually put your third brake light in there, which was a pain in my butt. And it's also very, very sketchy because these freaking trunks are so expensive and you gotta think about it. You're really cutting into the trunk. Then my next thing, speaking about cutting into the trunk, this little emergency latch right here for when you're stuck in the trunk, which that would suck to be stuck in the Camaro's trunk. But anyway, when you're stuck in the trunk, there is no opening for said latch. So I had to cut that trunk right in the midsection, bro, to be able to fit that. So I'm just going to be honest. If you're going into this thinking that it is literally going to be plug and play, you're going to pull it out of the box and bolt it back onto your car, bro. Get that out of your head. Legit. Just get that mindset and take it and throw it away because you are going to have to put in some work to get this trunk installed. Now, is it worth it afterwards? Hell yeah. I mean, you guys see it. It looks amazing. But... Is it going to be just taking it out and putting it on? Hell nah, bro. You're going to have to put in some work. Other than that, man, the trunk is phenomenal. All in all, 100%. I love it. Came out phenomenal. There's no blemishes in the clear coat or anything like that. That was another reason why I decided to go ahead and just finesse it and put it on the car versus sending it back out to Anderson Composites and having them send me out a new one. I was literally just scared about a couple things. A, I'd get the new one and there'd be a blemish within the weave of the carbon or there'd be a crack in the clear coat on the carbon or I'd get it back and the bolts would be even more messed up than these were. So I was just like, you know what? This trunk looks good. I can probably finesse it and that's exactly what I did, and it came out great. So, with that being said, man, you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. Did you think that I was going to get the trunk over the diffuser, or did you think that I was going to get the diffuser over the trunk? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know what you guys think, and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy carbon fiber and you enjoy seeing where Vader is going starting 2023. I believe this is the first modification of 2023, and... <laughs> Y'all see how we coming. You did. Y'all see how we coming this year. So turn on post notifications. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. I got more carbon fiber coming. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen. I got a new sponsor and it kind of already exposed what I got from them. But if you didn't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me now because y'all get like sneak peeks and stuff like that on there sooner versus on here where you have to wait either monday wednesday or friday at 6 30 p.m so with all that being said it's gonna wrap it up for this one i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace